Hey guys, welcome back to The Game Replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy 13 for the Sony PlayStation 3. Okay, so uh, I hope everyone enjoyed the uh, food segment of our video game. That was great. Okay, so the Usenod station's up there and all the food stuff. Uh, Central Avenue, we're down here. There's that Cactar statue. I'm over here in the Champion's Quarter where there's a couple of shops to, you know, buy weapons, items, spells, that kind of thing. And then you go down here a little more and then we get to the, uh, the Augur's Quarter and that's really where we're supposed to go, right? Check it out. Uh, yeah, we gotta get into the palace. So, uh, I'm kind of messing around a little bit here. We're gonna continue our way down there real quickly. We got a lot of time now, so, uh, okay. I'm actually gonna check this guy out. Come and get it if you wanna die. Uh, you might notice that I have a couple of new abilities. And they rule! hoo -ah! Yeah, okay, so yeah, I got a couple new garbs on. Uh, I suppose I should show you. Yeah? Uh, okay. Velvet Bouncer. Got my red mage. I almost took it off. Uh, yeah, the red mage has a crown now. I almost took it off, but I just, I put it back on. My HP is really shitty, but I was like, eh, whatever. My magic kicks ass. She's actually pretty strong, too, physically. I, I don't have many abilities on just mostly magic it comes with some designated stuff but you know they're for fighting too so that's what i got on the velvet bouncer and then i got this one which really isn't that great it's okay and it's got a couple of cool things i don't know i couldn't switch it out for anything else though really so i was kind of stuck i'm kind of stuck in a, a couple of ways I could make certain things better, but then it costs other stuff, and... Ah, eh, this is what I'm rolling with right now. What, uh... What is this? I just got fireworks from a chocobo girl! That's it! This city is the best! There are chocobo girls throughout the city, right? From what I've heard, they give fireworks to whoever wants them. I just got fireworks from a chocobo girl. That's it. This city is the best. The Champion's Quarter, where blood flows and the crowds roar. The slaughterhouse opens its doors to spectators and contestants during the night's banquets. If you wish to join the lists, come when we're open. A pit of violence and aggression. And lately, it's only been getting worse. We know how to take good care of you here. Oh, do you now? Ah, uh, no thank you. Ah, uh, I hear a spear. Where is it hiding? Is it on the other side of the gate? I'm unfamiliar with this area. Oh, no. What's all this? Hmm, I feel, yeah. Well, that's just gonna wrap me around. Poor souls who gather in your oh, don't, don't. Please, just stop talking. I am not interested. All right, so we got you. What do you think you're playing at selling that poison? Make me stronger? <laughs> it almost killed me. I did warn you that the use of my concoctions is not without risk. In short, you were warned. Not without risk? You're a crook and a charlatan, you hear me? Huh? I'm done with this place. I wouldn't buy anything from this charlatan if I were you. She'll sell you a poison and call it a cure. That poison she gave me knocked me out for the count. And now I'm short several days' wages! Did you really sell poison to that man? Of course not. It was a fortifying brew with centuries of alchemic theory behind it. I assure you it should be highly efficacious for most users. Sadly, it appeared to disagree with that gentleman's liver. Or perhaps spleen. You're an alchemist, right? 
Don't you people claim to be able to turn lead into gold or something? I don't think I buy it. <sighs> that is an unfortunate stereotype, all too common. Alchemists are natural philosophers dedicated to unlocking the mysteries of our physical and spiritual worlds. The search for ultimate truth is the core of our ancient art. The transmutation of base metals into gold, that is a mere byproduct of our inquiries. Mysteries of the physical and spiritual worlds? The ultimate truth? Sounds ambitious. It is. We perform experiments, observe phenomena, and analyze ancient records. Then we carefully record the results for future generations. It is painstaking work. Unfortunately, it is also capital intensive. The experiments I perform are very expensive. Right. That explains the snake oil racket you have going on here. This location certainly has proven beneficial to my research. Bounty hunters congregate in the area, and, as you no doubt know, theirs is a dangerous profession. They are desperate for anything that might give them an edge, and that includes untested potions. Untested? Does that mean you're using those poor dupes as test subjects for your latest concoctions? Mm. They all sign the waivers. Perhaps you'd care to join my project. Oh, you'd make a fine test subject. I have made a new secret potion that needs testing, but all of my regulars have refused to volunteer. You see, I've tried mixing two kinds of highly potent poisons. My theory is two wrongs will make a right, and the blend will have a beneficial effect. Hmm, I don't know, lady. A testing proposition. In the champion's quarter next to the battle arena, Lightning meets a potion-peddling alchemist named Velno, who makes an interesting proposition. So, uh, Velno's made some stuff, deadly poisons, she wants Lightning to test it out. Sounds dangerous, I don't know, man. We'll accept, sure, why not? What the hell? Oh, man. Alright, I'm game. What are you expected to do, exactly? It will lift your spirits, invigorate your soul, and protect you from hexes and ailments. If you are the kind of person who participates in slaughterhouse tournaments, then this potion will be perfect. So I'm supposed to drink it during a battle? Yes, that would be the perfect time. And afterwards, don't forget to come back and tell me how wonderful it is. Please note that my potions are provided without warranty. Side effects may include dementia, gangrene, sudden death, and hair loss. Good luck. <laughs> what? So, uh, she wants us to test this potion, and she's not liable for side effects. That's nice. Including death. My new potion has the power to lift all manner of battlefield ailments. Would you care to buy anything today? Ah, and we can buy stuff. Ooh, you know, this could come in handy because I'm unaware of this shop. Uh, that's it? That's disappointing. Hmm. Yeah. I'm looking forward to hearing all about my experimental potion. Ah, uh, all right, I can see again. The slaughterhouse opens its doors to spectators and contestants during the night's banquets. If you wish to join the list, come when we're open. Well, I guess that'll be later. These days, there's only one way common folk can see the show in the Augur's Quarter, and that's the secret back route. That was information about the back route in, wasn't it? It looks like you're getting some good hints about how to sneak into the auger's quarter. Yay! I got fireworks from that chocobo lady! I have a great selection. Yeah, so these people sell you stuff. They say it's hard enough to find the back route, but you know what's even harder? Getting out alive again. Oh, I think we'll be fine. Uh, let's see. I guess that's all I'm gonna do here. Let's head back down to this, which looks a little more familiar to you guys. Can you play that again for me? Oh, hey, your name isn't Lightning, is it? And just how did you know that? Oh, well, the girl in black told me. 
She said that if I played this song, a lady called Lightning would show up. Lumina. That's it. Lumina. She's the one who showed me how to play the song. So, do you know it? Sure. I've heard it before. So why don't you play me the rest of it now? <laughs> What's so funny? That's exactly what Lumina said you'd say. She said that if I played the first bit, you'd come over to talk to me. And then you'd be sure to ask me to play the rest. I'm guessing now I have to do something to hear the rest, right? Yep. Lumina said if you want to hear the whole song, you're gonna have to find the musical treasure spheres. I've got a key that's supposed to open them all. Musical treasure spheres in the champion's quarter, just off Armor Alley, stands a famous Cactar statue. Here, Lightning encounters a young trumpeter by the name of Morris playing a very familiar tune. He can only play a few notes of the melody. If Lightning wants to hear more, she will have to collect the rest of the score from the musical Treasure Spheres. This is another of Lumina's games, but maybe it's worth Lightning's while to play along. <clears throat> so there's another quest for you folks. I'll play Lumina's little game, but not for my own benefit. Maybe if Snow hears that song down here in the streets, it'll give him some smidgen of hope. Huh? Wait a sec. Are you saying this song has something to do with the patron? What? I can't say, but I'll tell you what. You play me the whole song, and maybe I'll tell you. All right, it's a deal. But you still have to do what I asked for first. Here's the key to the boxes. You have to find all of them. When you're done, come back and talk to me. Oh, so, uh... Yeah, look for those and open them up. There you go. You want to hear the song. You know what you have to do first, right? Go and check out all the singing treasure spheres. The savior is a wanted woman now. I don't think running is going to get you anywhere. You're better off fighting your way through. <laughs> Look at this guy. It's kind of humorous, actually. Uh, so we are going this way, and that's the correct way. Okay, good stuff. Hello. Is it your first time in Yusnan? Ask me anything. I know this city like the back of my own hand. We stand now in the Revelers' Quarter. No other place bustles quite like it. Not even here in Yusnan. The entertainment and the views are the best in the city. You know all about our Lord Patron, of course. Yes, the Patron is the last remaining Lassie in all the world. He's very strong. That's our dear Lord Snow. Everyone feels quite safe with Lord Snow at the helm. He takes good care of all of us. Hello. Is it your first time in Yusnan? Ask me anything. I'd rather ask you nothing. I guess there's nothing else to do here. I don't want to talk to anyone else. Uh, what am I examining? I think it was, I think it was that. All right, so uh, there's the loyal guide. Oop, wait. There we go. There's always some random stuff to pick up. I got fireworks of my own. So this is what I'm pretty much gonna do, folks. I'm gonna try and talk to a lot of the random people that are around here. Come on, get him! There you go. Man, I'm telling you, this blitz move. Buka, buka, buka. Uh, goodbye. There you go. Really coming in handy right now. <laughs> hmm. Some new skills along the way. All right, yeah, we've seen it. This is the Reveler's Quarter. The beautiful fountain and the Cactar statue are both symbols of this delightful part of the city. It's a really popular hangout for couples. I'm afraid you're gonna be the only single one here. And this city makes even the poorest people dream of a glittering life of excess. But you can't truly enjoy this city unless you already have money. And I mean serious money. Did you hear that? I'm quite sure they were talking about the back route into the Augur's Quarter. 
Poor Olga can't sing anymore. Normally, she can make angels weep with that beautiful voice of hers. Everyone who hears it is instantly captivated. Even the palace guards desert their posts to hear her voice, if you can believe it. Oh, looks like we have another person with a problem! I can tell you're pretty upset. Wanna tell me about it? What good would that do? You can't teach me how to sing again, can you? You forgot how to sing? My voice is just gone. I can't hold a note anymore. Are you sure you're not sick or something? My heart may be. The cruel bastard, he left me. And you think he took your voice with him? You don't understand what it is to perform, do you? He's not just my lover. He's written all my best hits. We were an unbeatable partnership. But then he up and left, leaving nothing but his songs behind. I tried to sing them, but I'm so angry at him, I just can't get the words out. So you're not heartbroken, just angry? I don't expect you to understand. You're right about that. I don't understand at all. Wait a second. Would you be willing to go and find him for me? I'll make it worth your while. My word is good, I promise. Why are you asking me? <laughs> because there's no danger he'd fall for you and forget about me. Well, that's nice. All right, in the Fountain Square, Reveler's Quarter, Lightning meets a singer called Olga who has been abandoned by Birdie, her lover and songwriting partner. If Lightning were to find the wayward Birdie, it could help the diva get her voice back. All right, we'll accept the quest, I suppose. Ugh. Don't hate me if he does fall for me. <laughs> if he does, I'll hunt you down, tear your hair out, and claw your eyes. Do I make myself clear? Anyway, his name is Birdie. He's the kindest, most gentle man in the whole city. He should be easy to find in a sea of undesirable men. That's really not much of a lead, but I'm willing to help you out. What prompted you to take on such a strange job? I don't know. I think this city must be getting to me. I checked my files on this Ogle woman. She's a prickly character, to be sure, but apparently she's as good a singer as they all say. If you can help her find her voice again, she'll be able to put on her show. That'll draw big crowds, and it might end up distracting the palace guard. Hey, why are you running from me? I just want to talk. I, I, I don't know any Olga. Uh, I mean... It doesn't take a genius to figure out you know her. Do you know anything else about her? Like, where her missing lover is? Oh, I can't keep this secret for any longer. I just can't. I have to confess it to someone, and it might as well be you. I'm her lost lover. Is this your idea of a joke? No, it's true, I swear. My name is Birdie. You know, the songwriter? I promised her my undying love, but now I don't dare face her. I unwittingly lost the 354th song I wrote for her. Wait a minute. Did you say 354? That's a lot of songs. Well, you know, I had a few centuries. He didn't run out of ideas? Ideas come easy. I picture my Olga, and the melodies just come to me fully formed, as if from another world. Huh. Better to be lucky than good, I guess. But a dark cloud has blotted out the sun of our radiant love. In the form of a frightful monster that suddenly attacked me and stole that song away. Which, incidentally, brings me to the favor I want to ask. I'm sure you can guess what it is. Why don't you spell it out for me, just to be sure? Well, I was thinking that you could get my music back from that, uh, monster. I'd give you a reward, please? You and Olga, neither of you mind asking strangers for favors, do you? Okay, so now we have to get a satchel. Good stuff. There's something I just don't get. He said he's written over 300 songs, right? If that's the case, why can't he just write a new one? Now that you mention it, I didn't even think to ask. I just... Hello and welcome. We keep only the best in stock here. Oh, do you? No, thank you. Well, they are artists. Putting on a show is what they do. Anyway, since you already agreed to help, let's go and find this music of his. Wonder where that music is. Up, oh, what's this person's deal? 
Yes, you have come at the appointed time. Your destiny awaits, Savior. And just what makes you so sure that I'm the Savior? His eye sees the truth. It cannot be denied. We are alchemists who seek the ultimate truth of all things. He has used the alchemic arts on himself. Now, now he possesses the eye that sees all. So, what do you want with me? Listen to his oracle. Your true path as the savior is known. Now it is time you know it yourself. Free will. Fountain Square, the Reveler's Quarter. So Lightning is encountering some mysterious Briz, telling her about a colleague who uses alchemic arts uh, to acquire an eye that can see the future. If the two diviners are telling the truth, it might be worth Lightning's while to do as they say and follow the true path as the uh, savior. You know, that's not the first time we heard about this kind of stuff. I suppose we'll accept it. An oracle? If you've got something to tell me, I'll listen. But I choose my own path. Listen, savior. I say to you that which I have seen. Tomorrow, when the sun hangs highest in the sky, you shall meet us in this place. The encounter is ordained. Hope, what do you make of these so-called fortune tellers? They don't speak very clearly or quickly. But I think what they basically said was they want you to come back and see them again at noon tomorrow. Let's see, which way am I going? Um, might as well dip in there. It's not much of an oracle. They're just telling me what to do. Well, I'll decide tomorrow. What do we have here? Magic gloves, eh? Choco, we, oh look, we got the Choco Girl's phone number. It was written on the flyer. That's awesome, man. Okay, hello everybody. How are you? <laughs> Welcome. Oh, it's this guy again, huh? Ah, oh, yeah, the notes. Hmm. I'm gonna get the two uh, most expensive ones. That's what I'm gonna do. Do visit you again? What is this? It's an underground route. Eh, I'm not gonna go down here right now. I don't wanna mess. I don't wanna mess around with anything. Pleasure Alley. Oh my. Okay, so uh, we're we're on the right path, folks. Good stuff. We're almost there. But you know what? I think I'm gonna call it a wrap right here, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, leave me those comments and tell me what you think. I'm Dave the Escher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy 13. I will see you guys next time. I am out.